practical significance of that is that no family would forever be without any land. So for instance, you became poor because you mismanaged your property and you sold it to somebody. After 50 years, you could own your land back. That's a practical significance. But the, the spiritual significance, which is more, much more powerful, is that God was simply telling everybody that you don't focus on land because your real home, it's not here in this world. You're not just a citizen of the world, you're a citizen of heaven. Your eternal home is with the Lord. That's the spiritual significance. But here's the question. How do I apply, apply this in my life today? How do I apply this in my life? Can I, does it mean that when I turn 50 years old, me personally, 15 years from now, you can compute my age based on that? Does it mean that I can call my bank and expect them to cancel all my debt? Is that it? Does it mean that the land that you're living in now that you recently bought that you're still paying for it, at the end of 50 years, you give that back to, your, to the original owner? Is that what it means? Trivia. There is no historical evidence in the Bible that even the Israelites have this. There was none. But actually, it's not just because of that, but there is a spiritual significance because there is a reason why God even commanded that. There's a purpose. Everybody says there's a purpose. There's a purpose. Even if we cannot literally apply this in our modern society today, I mean, this is what we dream of. We want our debts to be canceled. How many of you want your debts to be canceled? How many of you want poverty to be lifted? How many of you want bondages to be broken? We want this. So now, how do we apply this in our life? Would you like to know? Okay, five people would love to know. Hallelujah. How many of you would love to know? Yes? All right. I believe that God wants us to wrestle with this text today, this question. How can I experience, or how can I let others experience the truth in here now? That's the question that God wants us to ask today. And I'll give you three ways, three heart-wrenching ways, that if you do these three things, you will be able to experience the truth in here and now. Are you ready for these three things? First one, if you're going to experience the truth in here, you must declare everything belongs to God. Everything that belongs to the Lord. It says on the Sabbath year. What did it say on the Sabbath year? That the land, in verse 23, must never be sold on a permanent basis for the land belongs to me. That's what God said. You are only foreigners and tenant farmers working for me. Check this out. What is the most sought after investment in our country today? Real estate. Why? Because land is limited. Land is limited. Did you know that our country alone in Manila here, in, Philippine, in, in our country in Philippines, in Metro Manila alone, we are the third most expensive city to live in. The second one is Singapore, and the first one is Hong Kong. Why? Because land is very limited. You know how much it costs to live in a posh village in Makati called Forbes Park? Anybody here live in Forbes Park? Okay, don't raise your hand. <laughs> I'll tell you this, this is my industry that I work in. For you to be able to buy just one square meter in Forbes Park, it will cost you 650,000 pesos. Right? I told my wife, we can live in Forbes Park. We buy one square meter, plant a tree, put up a house on that tree. Right? You live in a park right in the middle of Forbes Park, Makati. Deliver because I grab the address for block five, block point five. Not a lot, not even a lot. It's quite a bit. Land is the most desired value in our country today. That's why this changes your perspective. Because God was simply telling the Israelites, what did He say? After 50 years, return the land to the original owner. Question: Who is the original owner? Is it your parents? Your grandparents, your ancestors, who got it from the Spanish, who got it from somebody else? No. The original owner is who? God. So God was simply telling everybody, I am the landowner. I'm the landlord. You're just foreigners and tenants, and at the end of your life, yes, you may have your name on that title. But make no mistake, that land belongs to God. It will return to God long after you're gone from this world. So declare that everything belongs to the Lord and you will experience abundance. You will experience jubilee like no other. On 